Hey guys, this is a beginner's tutorial on how to upgrade your Bitax XOS firmware. So from time to time, your Bitax will receive firmware updates, much like your Apple iPhone will receive iOS updates. The only difference is that the um, XOS won't pop up an alert advising you that there's an update to be made. Um, so you have to just check in um, periodically and um, see if there's a new update available. There's a few ways you can update your firmware but I'll just show you the most common way of doing it which is directly from the XOS. So if you log into your XOS via its IP number and you go down to settings, you scroll all the way down to the bottom and the, at the very bottom you'll see three sections the current version of the firmware that you're running. I'm currently running version 2.5.1. Um, and then there's two sections over here that will allow you to update the firmware and update the website. So what you need to do is just click the check button here. And you can see that I'm currently running 2.5.1. The latest release is 2.61. So what you want to do is to download the firmware here by just clicking on it. And you'll see up here, most browsers will detect it as a, a potential virus or an insecure download. So in my case, I'm just going to click keep. And I'll also download the www.bin file, which is um, the website, or well, what they call a website, which is actually the, the GUI or the, the um, this user interface that um, called XOS that we use to in interface with it. So let's download that as well, and let's choose to keep that as well. So once both files have been downloaded, all you need to do is simply click the browse button and go to your downloads and choose the espminer.bin file. Double click that and you can see it's updating the firmware now. It's fairly quick. In my experience, the um, the, the website is faster to up, uh, slower to update, sorry. So now let's click on the browse button here and we'll update the website or the web GUI as well. So that's the www.bin file. A few moments later. Okay, so that took less than 30, 40 seconds to do. And it's updated. And it's come back already. You can see its current version is now version 2.6.1. Now normally I've, um, I've had to restart this, but it looks like this version I don't need to. So I'm now running the latest firmware version. Okay, so I can see a few things has changed already on the user interface. Um, it looks like the um, they're now displaying the average hash rate um, up here. If you remember, they used to have this little dotted line on the graph here, and it was always quite difficult to see what the hash rate was because uh, you had to hover over the little dotted lines exactly and you would often miss it. So it was a bit finicky, so I think that's a, a much better um, improvement to the user interface. Um, and they've still got the expected hash rate there, but they've reduced that in size. Um, and it looks like by the same token, they've done the same layout for the um, efficiency and the, the, the joules per tera hash as well, with the average showing in the, uh, the larger type and the expected in the lower type. Um, so let's have a look. So I can see the menus. There's a few extra menu items here. So let's pull settings. Okay, so that's the normal pull configuration. Uh, customization menu. Oh, okay. So, so this looks like the um, the screen where you can customize the the um, the color scheme and theme colors. Um, and the settings is the section now where you can um, configure these frequency and core voltage for overclocking, and um, the previous screens that you saw where we can uh, check and update the um, the firmware in a website. And it, it looks like they've actually um, swapped these two around um, it used to be update firmware in the middle and update website on the far right um, so it looks like they've split out these three menus here pull settings customization and settings into three separate uh, menu items which is probably um, a much better user interface uh, logs is still your logs and what's this bitcoin white paper 
Huh, okay, so it looks like they've actually um, added the um, the Bitcoin white paper by their one and only Satoshi Nakamoto. And looking at the URL, it's not actually a link to the white paper. It looks like it's actually installed on each and every individual Bitax now, which is um, which is a bit of a, a tilt of the hat, perhaps, to um, Apple and Mac OS when they had the uh, Bitcoin white paper installed on um, their operating system. Now, for some reason, if you've upgraded your firmware and it's buggy or it's a bad release or you might want to revert to a previous version, you can actually download a previous version of the Axe OS and install that as well. So if you go to the official Bitax um, GitHub URL, which is here, I'll leave that a link in the description below as well. You can see um, this is the current source release. So look down here. The current release is 2.6.1, which is a version we just updated. Um, it was released two days ago. And you can see that there's um, 47 contributors, which are the um, software devs who are um, contributing their, their time to keep up this amazing open source project. Now, if for some reason you did want to um, downgrade your your bit XOS up here, you can you can see that there's 46 other releases other than the 2.6.1. So if we click into here, you can see um, the current release 2.6.1. Um, you can see all the amazing new features this release has. So you know things like um, that they've changed the the um, the SSID text to Wi-Fi because Grandma doesn't know what SSID means, but she knows what Wi-Fi means. Um, now, when you're creating the um, your um, your bit hacks and you're setting it up, um, you no longer need to type in the the your Wi-Fi hotspot um, or SSID. You can now um, browse and look it up, which is really nice. But there's a whole bunch of other, these other features as well. But if you scroll down. Um, for this one you can see there's the 2.6 update um, the 2.6 beta 12 update so there's a whole bunch of previous firmware releases that you can download so here's a 2.5.1 release which is the version that we were using just then so if, if for some reason you did want to downgrade back to 2.51 um, just click on the assets button here and scroll down a little bit more and here are the two main files that you want Again, the ESPminer.bin, which is the firmware update, 1.12 megabytes, and the www.bin web GUI file, which is three megs. So you can just download these um, as you did earlier, and then browse to each of those files um, to install, and that will automatically downgrade your firmware for you. Okay guys, so that's how you update your Bitax Axe OS firmware. If you've got any questions, please leave comments below.